by the polio virus. India was declared a polio-free country on 27th March 2014 by the WHO. India achieved this feat by vaccinating all children under the age of 5 from polio. To understand how a vaccine works, we should first understand how the immune system works. A link to our video about the immune system is given below in the description. On a short recap, when a pathogen enters the body, the immune system fights it off. B cells make special proteins called antibodies to deactivate pathogens. Some of the immune cells become memory cells during the process. These memory cells will stay in a deep sleep for a long time in our body. They remember information about the pathogen. When this pathogen invades the body again, countless memory cells awaken and use this information to fight off the pathogens. When a new powerful pathogen enters the body, it takes too much time to identify it, produce antibodies, and make memory cells. After this process is over, the pathogen would have already damage the body severely, which can sometimes cause death. This is when vaccines come into play. We should be grateful to the scientist Edward Jenner who gifted us the idea of vaccination. The main ingredient in a vaccine is nothing but the pathogen that the vaccine is supposed to protect us from. Vaccines inject a deactivated pathogen or we could strain of the pathogen or an antigen from it into the body. The body reacts to vaccines the same way it reacts to the real pathogen entering the body. The immune system deactivates pathogens in the vaccine by producing antibodies and also makes memory cells. The body can deal with the pathogen in the vaccine very easily as they are weak or deactivated. So, in the future, if the pathogen invades our body, the memory cells formed through vaccination can identify and deactivate the pathogen. A weaker strain of the pathogen is used in live attenuated vaccines. The vaccine used for mumps, measles, and rubella is a type of this vaccine. Dead pathogens are used in inactive vaccines. We are required to take this vaccine more than once as booster shots. The polio vaccine via an injection is a type of inactive vaccine. In subunit vaccines, the antigens from pathogens are used. Hepatitis B vaccine is a type of this vaccine, but it is not always possible to separate antigens from a pathogen. DNA vaccines are a new type of vaccine being developed by scientists. Genes required for the production of an antigen in pathogens are separated from them and used in DNA vaccines. When these genes enter the body through vaccination, they trigger the formation of antigens by the body cells, which causes the immune system to produce antibodies. The vaccines for Ebola and HIV are of this type. When most of the people in a va region gets vaccinated, the entire region achieves immunity. Some people may have health problems that don't allow them to receive a vaccine. By achieving herd immunity, pathogens can't reach them. Vaccines help to eradicate many diseases that now have been forgotten. There are many debates on whether vaccines are good or bad for human health, such as claims of them causing autism. The stories that are that are opposed against vaccines are usually supported by non-scientific claims. Although it is rare, some people may have allergic reactions to some components in vaccines. Their best bet is on herd immunity to protect them from deadly diseases. Vaccines were created when the child mortality rate was high and many people suffered from various diseases. So, get vaccinated and protect your community. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive updates every week. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share.